Hey my readers, for day six we have Lady and the Tramp, Lady's Christmas Surprise. It was the week before Christmas. Tramp and the puppies gathered beneath Jim and Darlene's brightly decorated tree. You all know what holiday is coming up, right? Tramp asked, his eyes twinkling. Of course, Dad, Scamp said. He was excited. Christmas was the puppy's favorite time of year. Lots of guests stopped by to wish Jim and Darling a Merry Christmas. However, the best part of Christmas was the presents. The puppies got to help choose a special gift for each of their parents. They loved being trusted with such important surprises. Do any of you kids know what your mother would like for Christmas? Tramp asked. How about a steak from Tony's restaurant? Annette suggested. Tramp shook his head. We can do better than that. We need to give her something special, said Colette, to show her how much we love her. Why don't you ask her what she'd like? asked Scamp, his voice muffled. He was chewing on a bone. We want to surprise her, Tramp reminded his son. He nudged him away from the presents. That's the fun of Christmas. Maybe we'll find something on our walk today, Annette said. Tramp thought that was a good idea. While Lady was taking a nap, he took the kids into town to look for the perfect present. The village bustled with shoppers, their carriage wheels carving deep ruts into the snowy road. The dogs rambled up and down the avenue, looking in all the store windows. They saw sweaters, cushions, brush and comb sets, bowls, and collars. But Tramp knew that none of these things were the perfect gift for Lady. He wanted to find her something special. Something that she would enjoy and that no other dog would have. Tramp and the puppies kept looking into the store windows, and they peeked at the packages that all the people were carrying. All they needed was one really good idea. When the sun started to sink in the sky, Tramp turned to the puppies and said, We'd better head for the alleys and dig something from the trash. As they crossed the road, Tramp noticed something sparkling in the snow. It was much brighter than an icicle. He turned it over with a paw. Holy ham bones, he cried. It was a golden diamond necklace. What a bunch of rocks, exclaimed Scamp. What a good stroke of luck, remarked Annette. Just the right size for mother, added Colette. Tramp smiled and then scooped up the necklace with his mouth. They'd found the perfect gift. He knew it would look beautiful on Lady. Suddenly, Tramp felt worried and dropped the necklace into the snow. It sparkled in the icy crystals. He frowned. What's the matter? Scamp asked. This isn't right, Tramp muttered. Then he looked at his children. Sorry, kids, but we have to return the necklace. It's not ours to take. But where would we go to return it? Paulette asked. Yeah, it was just here in the snow, Annette said. How would we even find the owner? I say finders keepers, Scamp cried. Come on now, kids, Tramp said. We can take it to the police. They'll know who to return it to. With the puppies following, Tramp bounded down the snowy street to the local police station. Inside, officers hurried around taking phone calls and writing reports. Tramp trotted up to the front desk with the puppies following behind. He dropped the necklace in front of the policeman in charge. What's this? the officer said as he looked at the dog and then back to the necklace on the desk. He picked up the necklace and looked at the sparkling jewels. Tramp panted and wagged his tail. The puppy stood eagerly beside him. You found it, the officer said. Tramp nodded. Good dog, he exclaimed. The policeman took the necklace and began filling out his report while Tramp and the puppies watched. At that moment, a woman rushed into the police station. Help! she cried. My necklace is gone. I'm offering a reward for its return. The policeman smiled at the woman and held out the necklace. Is this yours? he asked. He pointed to Tramp. This dog found it on the street and brought it here. The woman gasped. Thank you, she said. She scratched Tramp behind his ear. How can I repay you? Woof! Tramp looked at the necklace. A new collar, she said. That's it. She took Tramp and the puppies to the store next door. 
Tramp walked up to the counter and picked up a gold collar with green stones that looked just like the woman's necklace. I'll take that one, the woman told the storekeeper. Christmas morning came, and the family gathered to open presents. Jim and Darling sat back and watched as the dog sniffed each of the gift-wrapped parcels. Lady tore open the wrappings on her gift. As the paper fell away, her face lit up. You shouldn't have, she cried. Her eyes sparkled. Lady dipped her head as Darling reached forward to fasten the collar around her neck. As the collar snapped into place, Lady leaped to her feet and pranced around the room, hopping from paw to paw with her tail wagging. She was just like a show dog wearing the best collar in town. I love my new collar, Lady said. What a wonderful Christmas surprise. But I love my family even more. She nuzzled Tramp and each of the puppies. Merry Christmas, Mother, said the puppies. Together, they'd made it a very Merry Christmas indeed. Speaking of Christmas, you can now get this adorable Lady and the Tramp Happy Holidays t-shirt. It comes in many different sizes and colors, women's, children's, and men's, and I personally just think it's completely adorable. So if you'd like one, all you have to do is follow the link in the description box below. Don't forget that all of our stories come from the Disney 100 Advent Calendar, and I will provide a link in the description box below. Now I have been told that this particular Advent Calendar is sold out, but you can find other Advent Calendars if you do follow the link. And as always, all of my links are affiliate links, so if you should use it, I may be compensated. Thank you so much for watching! Can you believe we're already up to day 7? I can't.